says you're probably out on a submarine, and uh, I say you're probably up on a secret base somewhere around the North Pole or something. I figure if you're on a submarine, uh, you probably wouldn't be able to get these tapes. Plus, everybody knows that submarines only stay out for three months. But, honey, uh, something weird has been happening lately. Uh, I mean, what I'm saying is that uh, it's like you died and I've gotten over it. I was having these dreams for a long time that you did die. And then I'd wake up and I'd realize that if you did, there'd be no way I would have of knowing. And maybe you were already dead. They kept becoming more and more real until uh, I finally was feeling a little bit desperate. So I told them when they came to pick up a tape a few times ago and uh, they sent out an army psychiatrist for me. <laughs> he wasn't a whole lot of help. He said he didn't know where you were either, but he knew it wasn't dangerous, so I shouldn't worry. I should just try to be patient. But um, <clears throat> I don't have them anymore. That's because I've decided that you are dead. I've put that in my mind so that I won't be too disappointed when you don't come back. I'll have already adjusted myself to it. But if you ever walk through that door again, it'll be like a miracle from God. You'll be a gift from heaven. And my life's going to pick up where it left off the day you walked out. <sighs> hey, I got a surprise for you. Remember when I told you that your sister was going to get her security clearance? Susie, come here. Come over here and say hi to your brother. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Getting any lately? <laughs> I had a lot of things to tell you, but I remember them now. I have to... Thanks. Um, you, it's not my uh, business, but. How oh, you're not gonna give me a lecture now, are you? No, no. It's... We've only got six months left. <laughs> six months, how? You know, I used to think that I was very, I mean, you have to be to get through training school with assholes like Walker. But I swear to God, I do not know if I am tough enough for six more months of this. You know what I keep thinking about? I keep thinking about putting on too much makeup and uh, doing my nails real red. And Putting on something real slinky, going down to some sleazy bar, picking up a bike gang. Huh. It's a joke, Hal. You don't have to do this now. Walker, yes, I do. What, since you've seen two people have sex on TV? Oh. Since I've seen a woman. <laughs> I'm crushed, Walker. You got me right where I live. I need a urine sample now. Both Washington and Moscow are gripped with alarm and confusion today, with news that an American cruise missile landed in the Soviet industrial city of Voronezh, 300 miles southeast of Although the missile contained a one-megaton thermonuclear warhead, it did not detonate, 
and is now in the hands of Soviet defense officials. Sources close to the Navy are now indicating that a U.S. Navy supply ship disguised as a tramp steamer, which was hijacked yesterday in the Mediterranean, may have been carrying 11 Tomahawk cruise missiles capable of reaching cities such as Voronezh. The Navy has stated that the hijacking was carried out by what it called pirates, or forces who may be loyal to or under the control of the Libyan government or the North African Defense Alliance. In a moment, we will go live to Washington to bring you a report on the reaction from Capitol Hill. You're not going to believe this. That U.S. supply ship that Libya captured yesterday, it just said on the news it had 11 tomahawks on it, and one of them just landed in Russia. No official confirmation of a possible nuclear incident involving Soviet cities, but we are now aware that a full-stage alert has been called for. All NATO forces, both conventional and strategic, fighters have been scrambled. B-52s are now airborne, and cruise missiles have been dispersed to their covert launch sites in Europe. In a hastily organized speech to Congress, the president indicated that American forces are fully prepared to retaliate against any aggressive moves by the Soviets. He has advised the nation to go about its business as normal until the tension subsides. The president closed his address by stating that... Get Walker. Walker! Walker! I don't believe it. <laughs> Death Guard 2. Are you ready to do this? Maybe we should see if we can detect anything. So what do you got? I think I'm coming up with heat trails on infrared, lots of them. Super atmospheric? All right, Walker, fire. No, look, it might be some sort of uh, limited exchange, oh, military now, targets, maybe. Street. Let's wait for War One before we fire. Oh, this is only a bad dream. All right, look, it's happening, right? Yes, Jordan, it's happening. All right, then launch, Walker. We'll launch when we get War One. Maybe the order can't get through. Look. We are supposed to fire on our own discretion if we have evidence that an attack has started and we believe that War One can't get through. We'll launch when I say we'll launch, okay? Try some Earth signals. Will do. There are explosions over seven Soviet cities. Fuck, the stations are all disappearing. What about the baby? Shut up, Hal. My family has a chance to live in a remote area. Mine are in Seattle. I just saw Seattle go. I'll check Detroit. We have a solid object alert. Russian, right? It's Russian, isn't it? Walker, we gotta do it now. We don't have any more time. We've gotta drop the payload. Walker, you bastard! Fight! Hello, Mr. Jordan. 12 kilometers per second. Range, how? 642 kilometers. Okay, that gives us 50 seconds. Which one of our warheads passed the closest to it? Uh, well, Leningrad is four degrees off. What numbers were man? Seven. Seconds. Make it 12. Ready. Do it.
course, all these results are conditional. On what? On what? I don't know on what. This does not account for the unknown. I mean, all these estimates are based on atmospheric conditions, radiation levels, surface movement, weather, all things measurable from thousands of miles away. So what area came out best? Antarctica. Okay, say we got no orders and decided to go back to Earth. Where should we go to ensure our best chance of survival? Seychelles, Easter Island, parts of Central America. I can't help but notice you've been listening to that thing at the same time every night. I suppose it doesn't make any difference. I'm listening for my wife. She's got a transmitter, sort of like a ham radio. Radiation down there is incredibly high. Yeah, it is. But we're going back to Earth now. Sorry? I'm gonna help them. I'm gonna help Alice and my sister get out of there somehow. How? Your wife is dead. You fucking! We're not going down into any radioactive disease land. You just calm down now. Get your hands off me. Well, all right. What about you, Jordan? How oh, I haven't got anybody back there to go looking for. On the other hand, we're really not doing any good up here. 
think that we should support him. All right, there you have it. Two, four, one against. We're going back. Two, four, and one against. That one happens to be me, and I'm the captain. And this is not a democracy. So we're staying. This isn't my program. Walker! Walker, we gotta jettison the bomb! I gave him 60 hours. That'll have to do. Number 11 won't stay on. Do it. Oh, I don't know what you did. But I'm gonna kill you when I get half a Listen, chance. Listen, I'm telling you, this is going down by itself. This is not my program. Two leak on four. Man, I think she broke her neck. Her pupil moved. She's not dead. She's got a pulse. Oh, great. I think it's just a concussion. It wasn't me that made us come down here. This is useless. Useless. Okay, I'll dig. Maybe I should see if number 11 was really malfunctioning when we jettisoned the bombs. Hmm? I said, no, listen. Wait. I know I can hear. Oh. Hey! Hey, guys! You hear me? Oh, listen. You know, we got, we got months of food, Walker. Months of it. And uh, I don't know, we'll find us a boat and gotta build us a raft or something. We'll head down to someplace safe in Central America. And uh, I'll drop you off or. I don't know, you can come with me. I'm gonna head up to Oregon. And, uh, I don't know, you think we can find a boat around here? I don't know. Hey, I, yeah, I can feel them! 
I can feel a guy near you guys. Come on. Hey, and they got hold of my hand. Hey, Walker. Get it. Oh, got my hand. Get it. Yeah. Walker. They got my hand. Right. Walker. Walker. Walker, what are you doing? Jordan, welcome to Earth. Don't do anything before you listen to this. And now accept the fact that Alice must surely be dead. And Jordan, Walker's dead too. Six hours ago, we were trying to dig our way out of here. And somebody or something out there grabbed him and killed him. I'm going to take advantage of the dark. I'm going to leave and try to find somebody. I'll try to be back at 0800. And I'll knock three times. Don't let anybody else in. My name is Hal. I'm a lieutenant commander with NORAD. You know what that is? That's the North American Air Defense. I've got nothing to do with those guys. I've been in space for the last 15 months. I came down here last night. They, 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 guys, they started chasing me. I, they, they, look, they killed me. Look, what do you want? I got, I got four months supply of food. <sighs>
Let's talk about the food. You finished? You're pretty wasteful. Thanks. Who is that? So you expect me to believe that you're from NORAD? And that you came here from outer space for no reason? Look, I don't expect you to believe anything. All I know is I got four months supply of food and if you don't believe it, then you're just passing it up. I'll make you a deal on the food. You give me the food or I'll kill you. What do I get if I give it to you? You get to live. If you're lucky. If I'm lucky? Yes. You give me the food. I'll let you go. You get to skedaddle on down the road. And then the kids will kill you. And I'll be happy and the kids will be happy. And you'll be dead. Well, I don't like that deal. What if I give you half of the food in exchange for one of those guns? You got a sense of humor. What would you do if I gave you the gun and half the food? Look, I just want to get out of here. Go to someplace safe, maybe Central America. Just get in your rocket ship and fly up to Central America? No, I figure I'll find a boat. What kind of boat? Sailboat. Do you think that if there was a sailboat around here, I would be sitting here breathing in radiation? asking who you are. No. Who are you? None of your business. Would you untie me? <laughs> uh, listen, you untie me, I'll get you some real strawberries. You want shrimp cocktail? I got shrimp cocktail. You want a turkey dinner? You got it. I've got crates of food. You know how to sail? Yeah. Hmm. You look kind of innocent, but uh, what choice have I got, right? Okay. Okay, I'll make a deal. We split your food, and I'll get us to a sailboat. But if you leave me, you lose the boat. Got it? Good. All right, then. What kind of boat is it? What do you mean, what kind of boat? It's a sailboat. How big is it? Big enough. Okay, Captain Walker. Let's 
go. Walker. Put the guns down. Outside. Why? Because I don't want to mess on my floor. You don't want the food? I don't give a shit about the food anymore. Get outside. Well, there, there's more than food. There's marijuana. Oh, really? What kind? Colombian. Oh, wow. I don't smoke dope, and I don't like people who do. Well, listen, you think you're going to find this food and keep it all to yourself? But you're I not even going to get in. I don't get it. There's a car in there. About She's this not letting food. anybody in. She won't let you in. You won't get in. Who's she? She's an astronaut. She, she's a doctor. What's she like? She's got brown hair. What, what kind of aureolas does she have? Pink, brown, or red? Red? Pointed or rounded? Pointed. So if, uh, Say, I give you a knife and let you go. You give me two-thirds of the food in this woman? I give you three-quarters of the food. That's very white of you. So we have a deal? Yeah, as long as there's no surprises, we have a deal. Is this the beach? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. It was dark. JJ, I want you to go over that hill and see if you can see a uh, rocket ship. And watch out for the lunatics from Fort Liswell. Vinny McKinnon, we meet again. It's really nice to see you again, Vinny.
fake. <laughs> I got something real special to show you. Tell me, Commander, how... You wouldn't happen to know in which direction the prevailing winds blow in Patagonia, would you? What? Well, since Patagonia is in the southern hemisphere, the prevailing winds should blow in from the east. But the mountains are in the way. Commander, do you think the fallout could get over the mountains? How do you know my name? My, my, my. Good things do come in three. I've missed you, JJ. And you must be Vinnie McKinnon. Lacey, would you remove them before they putrefy the room, please? Let them join Dr. Jordan, see to it that they're as comfortable as she is. Hey, 
estimate that everyone here will be contaminated within the next two months. The only solution is to escape to a clean zone, provided you can find the location of one. I want you to know I'm really sorry about what happened to your friend Wonker. Some terminals found the capsule before we did, so there was nothing we could do. You know, I was kind of surprised when I found out that you people were up there. I never suspected we had a secret line of space defense. You weren't supposed to suspect. We found it. You sure? It says Delta S-16 on it. Oh, good news. I guess that means I won't need Commander Howe after all, will I? Let him join his friends. Delta S16, excellent. I'll have the sucker out of here in no time. Okay. Lacey, uh, be real careful. We'll bring it straight to Boomer's hut right away, okay? You got it. Did you get my tape? Yeah. Jordan, I'm... Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Um, this is Mrs. Boyd. She stole a can of peaches. Can of peaches. Can you believe it? Confused here. Give me a few answers. Who's this guy, Gideon Hayes? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Yeah, ex boyfriend now. I was trying to get away from him when Vinny caught me in the woods. So, so what happened here? I mean, how did this kid Gideon get control of all these people? He has his ways. You um, might be interested to know. I always had control of you. What are you talking about? Well, the day of the war, two months ago, I guess it was, I was at school, just changing classes with Gideon, when this Navy helicopter lands on the lawn and Gideon's father gets out. Well, next thing I know, I'm at 5,000 feet in the helicopter carrying all this satellite equipment. Satellite equipment? Yeah with Gideon's mom and dad and a bunch of Navy brass. And I'm worried about missing my poli sci test till I find out I'm in the middle of World War III. So what happened to all these Navy people? Where are his parents now? They're dead. We crashed. I guess the helicopter was affected by a blast. Only four of us survived. Gideon and I, 
and Lacey, who's a Marine corporal, and um, a Navy technician, a fat guy called Boomer, who operated the equipment. He was paralyzed in the crash, though. His back was broken. Okay, just hold on a minute. You're saying this guy Boomer had something to do with me landing here? That's what you're saying? Uh, well, yeah, but, but Gideon made him because he wants to get to a survival station. <sighs> See, Gideon made Boomer transmit a program that would force you to land here when you decided to re-enter. There's no way this guy Boomer could have had the facilities to do that. Well, then you explain how you got here. You guys went out here. Boomer. You did a very good job. I think we found our missing piece, and all the credit goes to you. Boomer, how's your diet coming? I brought you into a nice, big, juicy cut of venison. Now, I know that we haven't been the best of friends in the past. But we can make up. And after that, you'll have a nice meal. You can't do it without me. I've got nothing to live for. Let's not be like that. Let's be fair with one another. Well, I want to know where the survival stations are, and you know how to find out. We can make a business proposition. You help me this one last time, and I'll let you go. Well, we'll just start hooking up our little box while the steak is cooking. Your stay cooked. Where were you supposed to be headed in this helicopter? Well, we were trying to get to a submarine that was waiting just off the coast of Newfoundland. A lot of government bigwigs were headed there, too, but we had all their satellite equipment. I'm sure they were rather unhappy that their equipment didn't show up. I bet they were unhappy. Come on, sweetie. Let's go. Boomer, your steak is almost done. I wouldn't want it to get burnt. That would be wasteful. Especially with so many people going hungry these days. You'll give it to me if I tell you. Oh, you have my word? What difference does it make? It's just a password. I e pluribus funk. E pluribus funk. Boomer, you've been a royal pain. But you did come through, so I guess I'll have to keep my word. That was good, wasn't it? Mm. I'm sorry. Here, let me. Oh! Cool. I'm really sorry. Well, I guess it's too dirty for me to pick up now. I think you better go down for it. Boy, Boomer, do you smell. You gotta pay more attention to your personal hygiene. Well, you're on your own. 
Oh, and, uh... Thanks a lot. See this. 621720 by North 190240. Know what that is? The latitude and longitude of a survival station is still intact, I bet. Very sure. And that's where you and I and a couple of the others will be sailing starting tomorrow. Doesn't that make you happy? No. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. See, I'm forgiving you for walking out on me. Well, I don't forgive you. For what? For being a snake. Come on, JJ. You think I'm ruthless because I want to be. It's the only way to administer limited resources in an unstable situation. Can't you see that? You want to go or not? Come on, what do you say? I say, go fuck yourself. Take her back to her friends, please. JJ. Put up a notice that there will be a trial tomorrow morning. Everyone should enjoy that. Jordan. <laughs> Looking good, Vinny. What's the matter? You miss your mommy? Say good night. JJ. Oh, you look so pretty, JJ. You make me sick! How? Real cool, how? in the presence of Gideon Hayes. Sit down. 
We have before us today Commander Cecil Howe, Dr. Eva, Eva Jordan, Jacqueline Jameson, and Vincent McKinnon. Commander Howe and Dr. Jordan, you've admitted your participation in the nuclear war machine that has brought such devastation in our lives. So you stand accused of crimes against humanity. So let's have it. All those who find Commander Howe and Dr. Jordan guilty, say aye. Aye! aye. All those who find Cecil Howe and Eva Jordan not guilty, say nay. Guilty. Bang the bitch! Jacqueline Jameson, also known as JJ, stands accused of the worst of crimes, treason. She was one of my closest friends, and my having to bring her here before you demonstrates the gravity of her crime. All those who find JJ guilty. Aye! Not guilty. Guilty. And our friend Vincent McKinnon. Vinny's presence has been long awaited in this courtroom. He stands accused of so many crimes against the people of Fort Liswell that I shall not bother to list them. All those who find Vincent McKinnon guilty say aye. 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 Hmm. Not guilty. Guilty. Does anyone have anything to add before I pass sentence? This court hereby sentences Commander Cecil Howe, Dr. Eva Jordan, Jacqueline Jameson, and Vincent McKinnon to hang by the neck until they are dead. Such sentence to be executed immediately. idea. Uh, take the tape off of JJ's mouth. I'm feeling in a generous mood. I'm gonna pardon you, JJ. But that pardon is conditional. JJ, you have to pull the lever that hangs the others. So, do you accept? I'm still feeling in a generous mood. I'll make the same offer to the rest of you. I'll give one of you your freedom if you hang your friends. If you accept, be the first to step forward.
Come on, yes or no? Good man, how? Cut him down, please. Come on through, come on through. Look out, back up. Now get out of the way here. Get out of the way, back up. Look out, come on through here. When the drums stop, pull the lever. If he doesn't pull it, shoot him, please. You're in no position. You got no time to argue, kid. Release them. Put Minnie and JJ back in the bunker. Okay, second condition. No hangings. Okay, no hangings. All right, I'll get my stuff on the ship. You try anything at all, and you're all dead, okay? any strain on it for a week, etc., etc., etc. Very nice work, Dr. Jordan. I should take you with me. Too bad there's not enough food. Yeah. Your real prints get in, but uh, I think I'll just take my chances with the others, okay? No, that wasn't the deal. You're staying here for the meantime, man. As for Vinny and JJ, well, I promise not to hang them. But they were lawfully sentenced, so I'll have them shot. Why don't you give me another shot of painkiller? <laughs> no, look, I, I only got morphine here. I think it's a little strong. And morphine's fine. Come on, woman. Lacey, will you get... No, I, I got it. It's all right. Why don't you let me do it, okay? Lacey? Hold her down, please. Let's see what was in that bottle. Oh, 
Potassium. Not a very good painkiller. your time. We're all gonna die in here. Last time you had a shower, Vinny. <laughs> get off the boat. That's right, just get off the boat, get in the water now. That's right, just stand right up, stand right up and get in the water. No, don't touch those guns! Don't, don't, don't do it! Don't pick them up! Look, don't, don't pick them up, don't do it! Look, just set them down now and get in the water! Look, I shoot guys like you all the time, so it's no big deal for me, so just set them down and get in the water! Don't hand them, don't take the other gun! Don't! <laughs> What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? We're relaxing.
please don't kill me. Please. I don't want to die. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm with you. Okay, I got guns here. Who wants them? Yeah, give me one of those. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Gideon Hayes. Where's JJ? She's gone with him, too. Come on, let's go. I'll never make it. Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go! Come on, come on, put him on. Come on, get him. Oh, there you go. Right. Oh. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. I think we better go. Her body's cold. Let's get to the boat. Can you swim? Lacey, would you collect all the guns, please? What? Come on. Thank you. 
yours too. Thank you. You've both done very well. I'll always remember you for that. You're a good man, Lacey. Stow these below. We won't be needing them anymore. JJ! JJ! Hey! Hey! Huh? It's cold up here. Why don't you stay below? I'll be there soon. In a minute. We've been through an awful lot together, haven't we? Yeah. Hey. Lacey! Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I don't want to see you anymore, How? Time to swim. You go ahead, kill her, and then I'm gonna kill you. You're a bluffer, Commander. I knew you were bluffing when you stepped forward on the gallows. You never hang your friends. Swim for it, Gideon. You can make it to shore. Commander, you have three seconds. One, <laughs> two, Wait, wait, wait. Shouldn't all those be empty? <laughs> 